Things which matter most must. Never be at the mercy of things which matter knowing is not enough, we must apply. Willing is not enough, we must do. Magic is believing in yourself. If you can do that, you can make anything happen. Knowing is not enough, we must apply. Willing is not enough, we must do. None are more hopelessly enslaved than those who falsely believe they are free. Nothing shows a man's character more than what he laughs at. There is nothing more frightful than ignorance in action. If you've never eaten while crying, you don't know what life tastes like. A man sees in the world what he carries in his heart. You can easily judge the character of a man by how he treats those who can do nothing for him. Daring ideas are like chessmen moved forward. They may be beaten, but they may start a winning game as soon as you trust yourself. You will know how to live. If you fight with all your might, there is a chance of life, whereas death is certain if you cling to your corner. The best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with the heart. Our greatest glory is not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. Life is what happens when you're busy making other plans. The purpose of life is not to be happy. It is to be useful to be honorable, to be compassionate, to have it make some difference that you have lived and lived well. Sexual association is a blessed. Second, where a piece of paradise streams into the earth, life is really simple, but we insist on making it complicated. Life is a journey that must be traveled no matter how bad the roads and accommodations. Closeness is a very surprising aspect. It is permitting the other to come into you, to see you as you see yourself. Closeness is the ability to be fairly odd with somebody and tracking down that that is good with them. The greatest happiness of life is the conviction that we are loved, loved for ourselves, or rather loved in spite of ourselves. It is a curious thought, but it is only when you see people looking ridiculous that you realize just how much you love them. Love has nothing to do with what you are expecting to get only with what you are expecting to give which is everything. The only thing we never get enough of is love, and the only thing we never give enough of is love. I am grateful that you were born, that your love is mine, and our two lives are woven and welded together. But you shouldn't give up on having a great sex life once you're married. Intimacy is key to having a healthy, functional and overall happy relationship. Sex is one of the most powerful gifts God ever created. It was designed to bring a man and woman together in a physical, emotional, and spiritual bond that would create pleasure, intimacy, and also procreation. Men and women approach sex very differently. Men make love to feel loved. Women need to feel loved to make love. Real intimacy is a sacred experience. It never exposes its secret trust and belonging to the voyeuristic eye of a neon culture. Real intimacy is of the soul, and the soul is reserved. I believe that love takes time. I believe there is such a thing as infatuation at first sight, but not love at first sight.